guys, it's your boy David. Thank you for joining back with Young Bars Productions. Today we got a go kart video. Uh, today I'm gonna be filling up the engine uh, 212 cc. That's my bad for saying that in the other video, but um, so yeah, 212, and uh, we're gonna be filling it up with oil, and hopefully we can get it running today. I don't know. It's really muddy outside, so I don't really want to take it outside. But I have drilled holes for the engine, and uh, we're soon gonna be mounting it and. Um, it all aligns with the chain and all that it has a little bit of slack I'll show you that in a second but yeah let's uh, fill it up with oil and uh, see what we can do next Then go ahead and top it off. All right, let's stop for now and uh, check our level. We don't want to overfill the oil and have to drain it. That would suck. So uh, let's see. Let it drain off a little bit. Okay, let's check it out. Let's close this back up. And actually, let's get a, I want to wipe the dipstick first. Make sure it's all dry from any oil. And uh, anytime you get any engine like this, this is a Predator 212, and uh, I would most definitely recommend flushing the old oil in there. It's very little on the bottom, just you know, so the engine doesn't seize up or anything like that. And you never want to add into that the new oil. You want to just go ahead and do a clean flush and just put brand new oil in there. You can look in your manual for Predator 212s or Predators. I just looked it up on uh, YouTube and uh, also Google, and they said uh, 10W30 uh, works great with them. And uh, so yeah, let's let's see how much we got in there. All right, we got plenty. So if you guys can see it, got it up to this marker right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. I don't wanna overdo it anymore I think there should be plenty and that still leaves me uh, more than half a tank like three-fourths of oil left in my little jar I'm gonna put that aside I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill it up with gas as you guys can see here let me bring you guys around right here it says uh, gas only do not fill it up with anything else why not just go ahead and use straight gas you know it's cheap no uh, they run pretty well with them so yeah there's the go-kart we're gonna go ahead and uh try to mount the engine onto it in the back and uh see what it looks like here we go sorry it's uh it really did get really dark in here pretty fast so i'm gonna do a small quick trial so you guys can see it let me go ahead and start it up be just a second. Set you guys up. Uh, okay. You guys can see that. There's the wheel. I'm gonna start the motor up. All right, gas on. Get it on start. Start her up. Oh. Try to turn her on. So, as you guys can see, I got the uh, go kart uh, little engine running. Sorry, it was really dark. Probably gonna get it up next day and get it up started for you guys, just so it can be much lighter. But um, today, I guess I got my goals done. Got the engine pretty much mounted. Just gotta get it tightened down all the way to the frame. 
We got an oil change on the engine, Predator 212, and got um, gas in the en in the engine, in the little motor, and uh, got it started up and running, and uh, it rides pretty well. I uh, haven't driven yet, just I can see that uh, we aligned the chain pretty well, so it's going to run pretty straight and true. And uh, I'm actually missing a little key. I've, uh, I guess I uh, misplaced it whenever the go kart was in my garage when I moved it to the shed. So I kind of misplaced the key. You guys know the key for the clutch when the clutch goes onto the spindle for the from the engine that rotates, so I can turn the uh, sprocket on the wheel. So uh, that kind of sucks, but I was able to find a little solution. I'll show it to you guys out here on a picture, and uh, I was able to get uh, a nut and bolt and um, a little spacer, black spacer, between the uh, engine, um, not the engine, the um, clutch, a little clutch that goes onto the spindle. Yeah. And I was able to tighten down, so it just held on there so it wouldn't move off of the engine. Um, and so it works so fine, uh, so far, so, so good. Um, and uh, probably gonna make my own little key. They're not that hard to make, you know. I'm just gonna file it down to uh, right size, cut it down, and everything like that. But I'm uh, probably gonna keep the little um, uh, screw on there, um, just cause you know I don't want it to ever slide off whenever I'm going through huge hills and stuff. But yeah, getting this project done for my broski, and uh, I can't wait to show it to him. Pretty much next video, we're probably gonna be putting on brakes and stuff, cause the uh, um, because the engine starts right away to pull the wheel unless you know put your leg down and hold the go-kart and uh, so it wouldn't move which we are, I don't really have a braking mechanism I only have the brake pedal and uh, so we're gonna have to figure that out I'm sure it won't be too hard have something to squeeze together probably get it from like a bicycle uh, one of the bicycle parts that I took apart and um, yeah I'm gonna get it running soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you guys for supporting me and my uh, friend David and uh, our channel, Young Boss Productions. You guys are the best. Please leave a like and comment down below. Any different mods I should do to the go kart or any other videos I should post. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe. You guys are the best. Peace.